Those were not there than guys out. How much of the throwing line is based solely on this matchup? How much of it is uh, guys played the last couple of games that made you to go in this direction? Like the Dario is curious on what yeah. you release and what you do before I start like the guy down. So, I mean, it's matchups. Um, <clears throat> Some of it is the coach who has the scout. He'll come in and when we talk the night before and the next morning meeting, we'll talk about combinations and matchups. And then um, for us lately, it's um, the injury piece because that affects the rotation um, in respect to, you know, when you lose campaign, that throws Wash back in there and then that affects, you know, Chris's minutes, um, maybe Landry plays some point guard. And so there's a number of things that um, come into play when you're trying to make that decision. But for the most part, um, it's probably uh, a matchup piece that we're trying to, you know, just give a competitive advantage to the team. And obviously in Miami, it would seem like for you more ideal starting at the four. Are you starting four tonight, or are you sticking with the same line? I mean, it'd be ideal. It'd be a speculation. I'll let you run with it. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll see. So you're not starting four. Coach, when you look at the first quarter starts offensively over the last few yeah. years, just I'm sorry to say you guys have talked about it. Just what kind of stand out as far as not being able to get low and break. I mean, there's so much Coach Van Gundy says it best. It's a, you know, make or miss league. You know, some of it is just shot making. Some of it is um, good defenses. You know, it's sometimes you just have to figure that into the equation. Um, for us lately, when we look at, you know, we have these stats, you know, and we have shot quality, expected efficiency, all that stuff. And when you look at it, you know, you realize you should have paid more attention in finite class, you know, but it's a, a lot of it is just making shots, but we've played against really good teams that have tried to take certain things away from Chris and, and force the ball where they wanted it to go. I've told our guys to just keep shooting the ball. Don't think about it. Keep shooting. Um, we're hopeful that we can come out of that. Um, it was good to see our defense kind of catch up with the slow start offensively in the last game, um, which helped us hang in there against Cleveland. With Mikhail, his efficiency hasn't quite been where it normally is over the last month. He's got you know, way more minutes than anybody else over the whole season. Mm -hmm. Do you think fatigue is setting in, or is it just kind of a shooting center? I mean, I, when you play as many minutes as Mikhail plays and you guard the toughest guy, it's hard to not weigh or allow fatigue to be a variable in the equation. Um, but he looked strong in the fourth quarter. I ran a couple of plays for him down the stretch. He looked pretty strong taking those shots. He made one, he missed the last one. Um, that's what I'm more excited about, his ability to take those shots down the stretch and li live with the consequences. But I'm sure you know, fatigue has something to do with it. Just, you know, we, we tried to take away the paint as best we could. Um, we gave up a few threes to Levert that were, you could say we made a, a defensive mistake, but some of those threes were off the dribble. You know, the one he, he just squared up and knocked it down in our face one time, but then he had one off the dribble that you didn't expect. Um, when you hold a team to, that point total, it's hard to argue with your defensive mindset. Um, at the same time, you know, as a coach, we we see a few things that we can certainly get better at. Um, there were a few transition, wasn't a ton, but the couple that they did have, you know, those are things that we can't control and that we just didn't do a good enough job to keep them out of transition in those particular plays. You brought up the shift defense a couple weeks ago. How did you like Getting better. Um, I mean, when a guy goes for 71 points and, you know, <laughs> you've been scoring in the 80s, it makes you want to really look at <laughs> how you're how you going to stop that guy. And um, 
I thought Mikhail did a really good job of just making it tough on him. Um, but that's what he does every night. And um, our defense defense isn't where we want it to be, but we feel like it's it's trending in a good place. You said if after the game the other night that you probably should have gotten the ball more in the DA. Um, but it, is it tough lately just because the guys are just digging down so much? On it is. It yeah. I mean, we've been playing against teams that have, you know, I had to show him on the film because he'll get frustrated when he doesn't get it. And I got to show him like, look, and he can see the two guys behind him or he can see how crowded it is in the paint. But there's different ways to get him the ball, though. Um, DA is really good in the pocket. Um, he's really good in duck ins. And um, there are times where you can give him the ball at the elbow and let him face up and do his thing. Um, Cleveland did, did a really good job and they have, you know, they played with two seven footers in the game for the most part. And those guys were just shadowing him the whole night. So that made it tough for him to get the ball more. There's been a big up taking him taking 15 footers in the last two weeks. Is that something you guys talked about or is that just a conscious effort by him? No, he's just, he's just doing it. Um, all of our guys are getting more opportunities with book being out. Um, campaign's been in and out. Um, no Cam Johnson. So that that's I think that's a natural occurrence when you have guys out. And um, I, I still think I can do a much better job of getting him the ball in, in his sweet spots a lot more than um, we did on the road trip. When you're going through a rough stretch like this, I know you guys abide by the never too high, never too low. Is that harder to stick to during a time like this? Or do you feel like it's pretty much the same? No, I think you have to. Um, I mean, that's pretty much why I'm like I am no matter where we are. Um, but especially now, um, it's not just losing a few games. It's, you know, losing a few guys that can emotionally get to you. And I think our guys have done a unreal job of bringing the juice every day. Um, the gym has been – we've had some of our best practices on the road. And um, – I can't lose sight of the increments of growth that I see, even though the outcome hasn't been what we wanted. I see uh, the growth in individuals and um, the defensive end of, of the floor that's helped us stay in games. Um, and hopefully the offense and defense will um, trend together here soon. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. A lot of times coming off a long road trip, First game home, did a little bit of a letdown. Yeah. How do you guard against that? Because you really, you, know, you can't afford to have it over there. I don't. I don't think it. I mean, we've been decent at that. Um, but I think for us, like our guys are hungry, you know, for a win, and um, I think that trumps all of those NBA adages, if you will. You know, I think we just. All of our guys want to win. I want to win for them. Um, I think we could be coming home from overseas right now. I think our guys would still have the same hunger and juice to go out and get a win tonight. And if you were in our practice this morning, like that, that's what you felt. You felt a, a high level, high spirited environment. Um, guys want to win. And so I don't, I'm not quite sure. There, there certainly is a fatigue element that comes into play, but think about this time of the year, everybody's dealing with it. So that, that can't be an excuse. Because you haven't seen enough of Devin in person because you guys are going on the road and you're coming back. What do you think of where he's at right now? I know the re-evaluation is later in the month, but him now actually in the weight room, you know, trying to get up shots with really. I haven't, I mean, I, we just spoke for a quick second, but there was, I didn't see much we just shot spot shots. That's about it. So there was nothing to get excited about. It's just good to see him. I hadn't seen him since uh, Christmas, the day after the Christmas game. I saw him that morning. And then uh, we've been on a, a world tour. So it was just good to see him uh, when we got back. Thanks, Joe. Yep, thank you. Thanks. My name